All right, let's be real. It's completely okay to be a negative person, sometimes. Now, why is that? See, life is hard. We got bills, taxes, relationships, getting out of bed. And people tackle hard life in different ways. Some people are very optimistic and impose that outlook of life on others. But see, my problem with that is, well, blind optimism is great, but it's kind of counterproductive. It's perfectly normal to have negative reactions to what goes on in your life. Emotions like anger and jealousy, pessimism and narcissism. You're not a bad person for having these traits. I mean, let's just be real with ourselves. I'm sure we can all recall to a time someone or something ticked us off and we were furious. So furious we didn't want to hear no, oh baby, please calm down. We just had to get that anger out. And I mean, that's a completely healthy thing to do. You shouldn't have to suppress any emotion any longer than you physically are able to. Let that rage out. Just know when's the right time to do it. To feel envious of someone is to simply desire what one has. And I don't think that if that's all there is to a situation that simply being jealous of someone, I don't think that makes you a bad person. What could make you a bad person would be if you were to develop some kind of hidden animosity but towards that person. that even always so bad? You're certainly a little weird if you hold some type of angst to your bros just because he has your most desired Gucci license plate or some dumb shit like that. But I don't think I'm a weirdo for knowing I'm a better rapper than Lil Tecca and thinking I deserve his whole career. There are long periods of times when I have a really shit self-esteem and I'm sure you can relate. So for me, I feel that there is nothing greater than to be able to look into a mirror and feel the purest of bliss. To be narcissistic is just the adjective. Cause it's only bad when you're an asshole. The greatest I've ever shined, at least in my own eyes, is when I love myself the most. Although self-love is blinding and will remind you that you're also a piece of shit. Alright, this one's a little bit of a cop-out. I'm not exactly a pessimistic person, I'm more of a realist. But how else can you stay grounded in reality without realizing that sometimes life is just shit. Things suck. Sometimes the worst that can happen will happen. Murphy's Law. And there ain't nothing that you can do about it, but suck it up and move on. You don't need to lie about it. You don't need to sugarcoat it. Just accept it. Life is fucking trash. All right, we're moving on to post recording here. I just wanted to give you guys a chance to offer your voice. I asked this question on my story over on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram, by the way. I asked you guys, is jealousy, narcissism, and pessimism normal? And you guys told me, yes, it's all things necessary to keep in check. No. Yes, it's a part of humanity. It's present within all of us at some point, whether we like it or not. Yeah, it's not their fault, but they're not supposed to let it get to them. Certain things have made them the way they are, so they've been molded like this. Because it's really hard to stay in the middle. It's like in life, you're supposed to have confidence, not arrogance. But let's say coming from someone who doesn't have much confidence, an easy way they can gain confidence is by being arrogant. Because it's so hard to stay in the middle, you know? Which is listen to people or do your own thing. And sometimes you do this, sometimes you do that, but certain people have trust issues and can't let go of that one situation which molded them into that thing. Like, I'd be feeling like Benson from regular show. Like, I want what I want, and I feel there's no time to slack. I feel like I gotta be uptight about what I want. Spend no money on food, outside clothes, etc, etc. Anything to save and only invest in the goal at hand. And well, a while ago, because I stopped smoking weed for a month now, I would smoke weed and get really motivated and I'd fall asleep and then I'd wake up mad because I feel like I'm gonna be a superstar. And that feeling is gone when I wake up and the only thing that helps me stay on track is just planning shit and being motivated by other things. I'd be waking up mad as fuck every day without the weed cause I'd just be impatient and shit. I gotta let go of shit like Benson. I wanna meditate on the weed again. But I wanna start working, writing songs while I'm on it. It'll increase my creativity. But I don't wanna slack off like Mordecai and Rigby and say yeah let me smoke again and not even work towards the goal. Kinda like how some people like to help others a lot but no one helps them back. Which is their fault for helping other people who don't appreciate. And then they grow up to be very closed off narcissist and only help themselves but these are all subconscious actions some people can't help. And yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Uh, be sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think it's a normal thing to be jealous or pessimistic or narcissistic? Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.
up. Hey, I'm a bit fast like Verizon. I got long hair, look like Isaac. And I punch like a Mike Tyson. That was a lie. I'm throwing kicks to a nigga face, got the wrong Mikey. Second guess if you really won't fight me. Got my gang when we fighting real grimy. Put you drunk, we need to see ID.